and the re uh, the reason actually I picked this project um, for my uh, YouTube channel first is because you don't need to wind coils you don't need to take off um, uh, to take apart fans, PC fans or cooling fans um, uh, you just need to find one of these, you can buy one, I think Tin Man and some uh, you other know, replicators have um, you can buy these on whatever site they, they, they tell you, I mean they're like a few dollars but really if you go to the junkyard I mean a recycling station and people throw away a VHS um, or anything that has drawers you know in there well not anything but stuff that has drawers in there you know you'll find stepper motors in there and you can recognize them usually the square uh, but when you turn it it has small steps like probably 120 I think it's a multiple of 60 usually that they have because each step is a is very stable each increment so anyway so that's why I picked this project and you need only a transistor uh, two diodes and a little bit of wiring and uh, the stepper motor and maybe a light bulb or something to to show where the energy goes and protect the uh, the transistor if needs be so anyway I'm excited uh, to do that okay here's the circuit that I use for the Bedini uh, for the step-by-stepper um, Bedini radiant charger thing uh, it's just the regular uh, Bedini SSG uh, circuit that you've seen a hundred times probably. Um, I think it's really fun actually. So uh, once I figured out the pair, this so this is you know of course he's using a own self one not a self one but a coil that you wound himself. But uh, on the stepper motor you have to figure out two pairs, two pair of wires that make two coils. I mean one coil each. Once you have that, you use one as the trigger and the other one as the power. Um, I didn't, uh, okay, and uh, Tin Man Power explains that, maybe I'll make a video on how to find that, but it's really simple. Uh, with a ohm meter uh, or even a, a continuity meter. Okay, then I, I did not use this neon bulb to protect the transistor. It wasn't necessary. I don't think Tin Man Power uses it either. And I use a 2N3055, not an MJL. Uh, I have both, but it, you know, I like the the 2N3055 for the smaller projects. Initially, I did not use this diode; it just ran just fine. I didn't make any, didn't do any tests on which one was better. I think it's a good idea to put it. It's a cleaner turn off, turn on, and turn off of the transistor, I believe. Um, and then here I use the pot and the resistor. I didn't don't use this uh, bulb. You know, it's just an extra resistor essentially. So uh, don't worry about that. It's a it's kind of cool if you have a bulb that has you know a small resistance <coughs> and that lights up. Then you can see you know uh, when there's a trigger event happening. But usually it's going to be continuous. It's going to glow continuously because you can, you won't be able to make out the the individual pulses. But I never, I never have that. I never have, I've never had that so far. Uh, otherwise, it's really simple. You know, this diode sends the flyback voltage from the power coil to the to the charging battery, and that's really it. You know, uh, you can I've soldered components because I like them to be fixed, and I don't like to have crocodile uh, clamps and uh, small cables dangling around you know the circuit board or the, the circuit surface there's enough stuff you know there's enough cabling you know with the input outputs and the so that uh, yeah it's pretty much uh, kind of what I've chose to do alright let's uh, see them running okay so I've only have one now and you have to kick it up and it starts working and so I can charge this battery plus so the the output of the collector I tap through the diode go to the plus and then 
if I connect this to the minus, it's funny because it sounds like it's going a little faster. That this battery is not charging. Let's see if it is. Looks like it's draining. But those are the high impulses. This is a 6 volt battery. So if I take this off. So let's see. So it's uh, it, it measuring that the, it's a dead battery. So of course there's, uh, I think, a, uh, a low internal resistance. As, as soon as I hit it, then it hits it with 13 volts. And so maybe it's declining here because the internal resistance is rising, so this will eventually settle around six and a half, seven once this battery gets reconditioned. Anyway, I don't know. This is another discussion. Radiant charging, always fun. But of course what you can do is, uh, you're not going to see much difference because it's daylight and it's pretty bright in this room, but uh, connect an LED, this is a 100 watt LED uh, module, and the funny thing is it sounds like it's going faster. When the load is on. And the reason for that, my guess, could be that the energy that, that wants the, the, the flyback voltage from the coil that we're capturing out of this diode, if there's no load, it has no way to go, so it probably bounces back and forth now. Uh, I'll be careful with my words, but but here it can actually flow out and not impede the actual uh, motor running so that's my explanation I'll stick to it uh, if anybody has a better explanation then uh, please leave it in the comment below anyway I'm pretty happy this is a very simple build I can recommend this to every, anybody uh, I want to thank uh, Tin Man is the originator of this build and of course I want to thank Lid Motor and what's his name OU dad or guy or dude sorry and uh, the few others who have replicated this um, if you are new to electronics so if you want to uh, look into radiant charging which I don't really like the name but a uh, flyback um, voltage charging which is definitely an accurate name um, start with this build because the coils are already in here just have to figure out the, the pairs which is very simple uh, and you have to, you can, you don't even need to solder. I just decided to solder, but you can, you can use those uh, alligator clips to put all your components together. The, even this um, resistor, the diode, you could have alligator clips, you know, to start out with between them. So no big deal. And uh, you need a battery or some sort of. You can even use a nine volt, um, nine volt block. Anyway, this is uh, Coco Mosfet, and I'll uh, signing off. Bye now.